Using a 10 millimeter socket, I'm going to remove these two retainer nuts. Grab your expansion tank, carefully lift that up, and you can pull that out aside like so. If you have coolant inside there, you can, I'm going to pop open the lid a little bit. And I'm actually going to use the hose itself to drain it back down into the engine. Go ahead and twist off this hose here. And we have a little plug Gonna go ahead and pop this in. And we just set that aside for now. And remove our tank. So go ahead and pop your cap. And you want to carefully pull up on the retainer ring here. Work that off. Go and take your cap, take that retainer ring. work it around and pop it into place. I'm going to pop your cap on. I'm going to take our expansion tank hose. Run this down. Go ahead and take our plug out. Install this on the tank. Now installing this here, you want to make sure that the bottom of the expansion tank goes on to the post down below. It just rests on that. And as you're dropping that down on the top, get that mounted up on those two little studs. So install our 10 mil nuts right here, a little capture nuts. I'm just going to snug those down in a place. Go ahead and pop the cap. You can use a nice clean funnel. Go ahead and fill the reservoir or expansion tank to the fill line. It is clearly marked on the side of the tank. Using the appropriate coolant. Once that's filled up to the appropriate line, we'll go ahead and pop our cap on. So now that we have the reservoir filled, I want to go ahead and start up the vehicle, let it run again, maybe drive it around the block, get it warmed up nice. At that point there, you want to go ahead and open the hood and check the expansion tank. See if the fluid is below the, the full line. If it is low, simply repeat the process by opening up this cap fill the reservoir to the appropriate line, and then pop the cap back on.